Would somebody please tell me what this is all about? And what's she doing here? Hey, be grateful she shared her tickets with us. Yeah, come on, Sky. Now listen up, you guys. The mystery man back in Scuttletown believes there'll be a large-scale heist during today's big race. Someone's after the magic carpets, and everyone's a suspect. I'm going undercover, posing as one of the pilots. Sky and Bolo, you two will watch from the stands. And Rowdy Tops? I'm working with the pit crew. Check this out! I'm a zombie pit girl! I'm sure the fans will eat it up. Not if she eats them up first. Shush, you two! Sounds like you're on deck. Let's do it! Good luck, everyone! On your mark. It's so adorable! So this is, a uh, racing, huh? Wait, what the heck? Hold on, what? Can we control the carpet somehow? We do not seem to be able to at all. Yeah, it's definitely sinking slowly, though. Um... I didn't realize how what a violent sport this was. Come on! Come on! There we go. This is like a forced scrolling level. This is really dangerous and, like, ruthless. I just don't get- I keep thinking I'm, like, grabbing onto these balloons, and I'm not. Was there even a single checkpoint? I don't think there was. Okay, so apparently the magic carpet races involve, like, knocking other people off of their magic carpets. I figured it just, it's just involved, you know, riding the magic carpets consistently, and whoever rides there is the fastest or best or something wins. I didn't realize it was, like, a deadly game. But it is. Come on, Shantae! There we go, Shantae. Good job, Shantae. Wait, do I really need to knock them off, though? I don't think I do. Yeah, I think I can get away not doing that. I mean, they're still gonna crash into the treetops. And it'll be very funny as long as you're not them. If you were them, though, it would be tragic because you'd be getting very badly hurt. And, you know, all these people we're knocking off, you know, they have stories, too. They're the hero of their own story, just like we all are. Everybody's the hero of his or her own story. Or there, because English does should have a gender-neutral pronoun, and it should be there. Um, oh, bye. Is that like a pendulum clock man? Well, clearly it is. We have, like, a blue guy in a scarf, like a robot pendulum. A fishbowl-headed person? A number of lizard people. Um... Oh, Ammo Baron, guys! Here comes another flying carpet vinegar! Get ready to nab it, Twitch! So you two are the thieves! Hey, we've got orders from up top! Yeah! Surrender that magic carpet, girl! Forget it. Fine, have it your way. Well, that was fast. Where did these other magic carpets come from, though? Well, whatever. Um, oh, I did not. That totally missed. Just like her bullets are missing us now. That's really not a very good aim. I would expect the ammo baron to, you know, do better. That was not a grenade, that was a bomb. Once again, I don't, I'm not able to do nearly as cute of a voice. So that attack did nine, as they always do if I can hit them with, you know, that many at once. 
You know, it's a good thing these carpets are able to, you know, strong enough to stand up to, well, being hit with grenades. I mean, these things, they built these things tough. Uh-oh. They're combining into one mech. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I was close. I thought it was. Okay, never mind. They're not going to combine into one giant mech. I was getting ahead of myself there by worrying about that. Blast them. The thing that I thought, I mean, you know, they started off as just normal college girls on a vacation. Then they just had to go and get involved with a paramilitary organization. Didn't they? Of course they did. Maybe I should have used the potion, because that way I would be at full health and full magic again. Oh, well, I didn't. And there's no getting around that fact. So I see, so... Wait, so Vinegar... The one with glasses, like the shorter one, is... is Twitch, right? Or was, now she's drowning in the ocean. A bunch of rubble. Like a bunch of, you know, ruined machines, you know? Not rubble, obviously. I just keep blasting. I feel like blast sounds like to be a slang word for something nerdy. Yeah, you know what? Forget it. This is just such an easier way to attack you. Why wouldn't I use it? Well, I guess that Shantae's also guilty of, of saying her attacks as she does them. But hey, see ya. That takes care of those two. Now to find out where they're taking those carpets. Yeah, this has Ammo Baron written all over it. Literally, it's totally his color, his style. His soldiers are so dumb, they just charge ahead right off of the ship. I mean, I'm not surprised, given who their boss is, that they're dumb. Hey, hey, could you get a little closer, please? I mean, it's a good thing that Shande's not getting blown off the roof. Unlike those darn powerful sandstorms back in the ruins of Tasseltown. Oh, he put a cute face on it. That ammo baron. Heart, he's a real softy, isn't he? Wonder what the squid baron's up to these days. I don't know, we'll probably find him later. He'll probably be up to normal squid baron things. He'll probably be the only character who's gonna be drawn in exactly the same way he was in the previous one. These guys carry a lot of meat with them, don't they? Yeah, this is just never gonna end, is it? It's not. I'll let those guys um just charge to their deaths. Maybe they're par they're paratroopers? You never know. Hold on, we can get inside, can we? Can we get up on this thing? No! Okay, now we're close! Nope, we can't get up there. I'm not even gonna try. Well, let's see what's inside. Wait, they're getting flung back even in whatever. So this is the inside of their ships, huh? It's rather difficult to navigate this cargo hull since it's full of all these things designed to kill you. You'd think they wouldn't have designed their own cargo hull that way. You'd think it would make it a lot more difficult to get through than it needs to be. What are we going to do here? The issue is it doesn't go far enough back on that little platform. We can never get in front of it because it doesn't go back far enough. Can we um, take it out somehow? Well, obviously not like that, but come on. Here we go. No. We're going to have to get up to that highest ledge before we're going to be able to attack it. Which might be totally pointless because it might not be able to be damaged. Dang it. Okay, Shantae, keep up the good the good spirit, Shantae. As of course you will, I don't need to tell you to God. Shantae. Don't screw this up, Shantae. Okay, this thing is deadly. No, we cannot take it out. Well, 
I suppose we can't get... Oh, I know what, we're, what we need to do. Never mind, I figured it out. Don't worry, guys. That's my issue. I think inside the box, when what I should be doing is thinking... I should ignore the box altogether. It's like I talked about in the Neverhood Let's Play. So it makes me wonder how I'm going to get past this particular laser turret, though. I know how I'm going to take out that cannon over there, but, like... I guess that's how I can get past it. I'm proud of myself. I kind of cheated, though. Throwing grenades at your own ship and smiling about it like so, so smugly? Really? That ammo baron... What, what, a, what, what, what a chauvinistic idiot. Chauvinistic in both senses of the word, in terms of being, like, excessively, you know, like, what's the word? You know, like, like, nationalist and militaristic. And also in terms of being a sexist pig. You guys remember what he was like in Risky's Revenge. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take you out. Take you, take you out. Take you out. Take you out! God, it's not working! Alright, how about this? Triple shot, Shante! God. It didn't, I mean, it didn't get the memo about the triple shot, did it? Well, because I mean, if it did, it would not have been was standing up so well, I'm sure. Hey, ship, you about to get right where I can jump on you? Yeah, I can. Sorry about overpronouncing the T's there. I really don't like it when things do that. I think it's annoying. Okay, here we go. Oh, didn't quite make it. It's rather odd, isn't it, that the ammo baron's, like, ships are following this strange, uh... How am I going to get past it now? Uh-oh. Can I get past it if I, like, charge? I would think the answer is no. Maybe? Nope. How could you possibly get past this laser, then? Is this a bug? Oh, I see. I'm just blind. I missed how the troops were getting out of their own ship. You think I would observe that sort of thing? I can't get into this one, though. Or so it would seem. Here's where it all went wrong last time. Where it all went south. Not so much this time, though. Uh, I think that being an elephant's a good way to smash up military equipment. Especially since for so many years, um, you know, elephants were abused and used as military equipment. It's, it's, it's the elephant's revenge. It's the revenge of nature on the cruel systems that twisted and oppressed it. Why can't we get inside this one? Oh, we can. He just charges blindly forward, bayonet ready? I mean, are they, are they just crazy? Well, I mean, honestly, yes, probably. You know, they've probably been worked up into a fanatical frenzy for ammonia. I mean, they, they did call them ammonian troops in the previous one, so I assume there's an ammonia. It sounds like some kind of chemical or disease. How am I going to get in, though? Like, I need to get down in. Here we here we go. I have to press down twice to get inside, I see. For some reason. What's even the por por porpoise of this room? I don't see a single porpoise in here. Probably for the best. I don't want these guys to be killing porpoises in addition to their other crimes. Most of their crimes are just human rights violations, you know? Although, in all fairness, if you're violating human rights, you don't care about porpoises much either. Because, I mean, let's be honest here, you know? Porpoises, humans, same thing. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. They're not the same thing. They're very different things. 
Shante, get in! It's a good thing there was a catchphrase, a catchphrase, a checkpoint right here, but like, how do I get in, how do I, okay, I get in, you get in by, like, squatting and also pressing down. Like, you, like, by, no, I mean by squatting and also pressing the, uh, jump button. Because of course you would. Hello? Oh, here we go. We keep going this way, now we can only go inside. I'm fine with this. We'll probably see the Ammo Baron again. He'll still have that weird one eye, and we'll be like, Why do you have that one eye? And he won't say anything. He'll just be like, I right, because, you know. Leave me alone. What did I do to you? And I'll be like, well, you attacked our, my town. Planned a heist. Planned to attack innocent people at a racing event. I mean, so did Shante. In all fairness, she also attacked innocent people at this racing event. Specifically the racer. Maybe it's like pod racing. It's just very dangerous, always seedy. Pretty much no matter what. Maybe you get to anything over here by no. Well, I mean maybe. Uh yes we can. Okay. Jump! There we go. What's up here? Oh wait, that's just the way we came in. Never mind. Are those giant spools of thread? What does the ammo baron have with like what what, what is he doing? He of all people with giant spools of thread. I mean, at least he's not kidnapping women and turning them into meat. But it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, when men fight elephants, the elephant wins every time. Not really, but men are definitely at a distinct disadvantage when fighting elephants. I don't think it, this would be normally disputed. Certainly when they're fighting elephants with the limited tools they have here. Maybe I should go down as a monkey in case there are spikes or something. I didn't, but uh, there, there was a trap down here. Uh, you think I would learn by now, wouldn't you? You'd think. No more troops, huh? I noticed another spike wall area up there, so we'll see what's up with that later on. And seeing lasers fire like this brings me back to when I was a kid. And lasers were always being fired at me all the time. I had a pretty hardcore childhood. Now really it brings me back to Pac-Man World 1, where they had like lasers firing in a few of the space levels. I seem to remember them being rather less dangerous than these though. There they only took away some of your health, they didn't send you back to the beginning of the stage. Wait, is that guy throwing grenades and they're not blowing up the vase? Your grenades are terrible. Like, really, really terrible. I don't want to deal with this while I'm trying to deal with lasers. Nah, it's best just to do it this way. He must be wearing some kind of fire retardant armor. Didn't save him, though, did it? Nope. No, it didn't. Nope. For a second, I thought that other one was moving, but it's staying stationary. Which is the opposite of moving, if you didn't know. Oh god! It's the return of the flower blades, only this time they're just blades and they're all blade and no flowers. Yeah, we're gonna have to hop over there, hop to this one, hop to this one. Oh god. Gorsh! But we made it! We're gonna let these ones come on, I'm gonna let them turn off, and I'm gonna make this jump. See? Just so. Quite so. Quite so. You know, no. Monk, well yes, monkey actually is what I want to go for. Beautiful. Now, elephant. Hero fan. Hey guys. Die, die, die. He's dead. Shant, I mean really, Shantae is a lot of blood on her hand. This is war, you know? It's like in the opening song when she's singing about how she wishes there, you know, to for, for less violence in the world, and how she keeps fighting and dancing through the danger because she wants to, because things will be better for everyone someday. That's the kind of optimism you have to have in order to, you know, keep pressing forward, in my estimation, anyway. Oh, jeez. It's a rather, it's rather dark in there. 
like, we'll check it out some other time. But yeah, why the heck does the does the Ammonian army have a portal to the genie realm in their... <sighs> Whatever. Ret 2 go, am I right, Shantae? Hey, I'm gonna throw a grenade. He's gonna throw a grenade. I'm gonna make him pay. Now, I mean, you, you know, she's doing this in self-defense. Like, you saw these guys. They're trying to kill her. You saw that yourself. Not all guys are worth taking out, though. Hold on, though. I'm kind of curious. Is there... I want to... <laughs> Ret to go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this really wasn't worth it. Actually, though... What can we find over here? Well, I know what we can do is this. Beautiful. Alright, now... I mean, it'll be better once we're on the other side, you know? Actually, hold on. Yeah, you can... You do hurt enemies when you do that. Well, let's see how many hits it takes to um, get to the lick of the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop. Or how many, you know, monkey bullets it takes to kill a man. Both worthy experiments. I mean, these guys are tough. I have to say, they don't even flinch when they, you know, get hit. I never did figure out what the ammo baron's preoccupation with those cute raccoon rabbit hat things is, though. So I don't, I still don't know what the, what it is. His preoccupation, I mean, with them. Wait, how did that hit us? Who threw that grenade that just hit us? I don't know. Alright. Ooh! I, just, I don't know how that hit him since we were facing the wrong direction, but I'll take it. Ah, look at all those cloth down there. Is this all some kind of elaborate scheme to steal mag... Well, I guess he is stealing magic carpets, so it makes sense he would have all this cloth and stuff, doesn't it? Now we can't get down. Well, this is just gonna crash the ship, I guess. But we're going down with it, though, Shantae. And you don't remember how to fly. Somehow, it just had to be you. Blast it all! That airship costs billions of crowdfunded dollars! This sh game costs thousands of crowdfunded dollars? For shame! You thought you could win the race by cheating! The race? Ha! I don't care about some stupid civilian air show! And I don't care about the prize money, neither! Huh? I'm after a global conquest! Air supremacy, babe! Armored guard ships are good and all, but I need airborne troops too. But being as how the magical silkworm is endangered, and is also very cute, I'll just take the magic silk I need from these loser's carpets, and use it to manufacture magic carpet uniforms for my men! Magic silkworms? You can't be serious. I'll demonstrate. Men! Deploy the MCUs! So they did have flying uniforms after all. Boosh! Let's show this hot little tamale a nice tight formation. Destroy Ammo Baron's army! Ammo Baron, you never learn, do you? I mean, of course he doesn't. You know, that's just the kind of man he is. The kind of man who never learns. Well, I don't think much- I don't think many of his troops survived the whole, you know, crashing from the sky thing, honestly. Oh, hey, Ammo Baron. How you doing? Thanks for letting me inside. I mean, I know you're pretty smug crossing your arms there with that glower on your face. Oh, never mind. He has a lot of troops left. It's a good thing they're not actually firing at us, though. If they were, this would be a lot more dangerous. Like, by many magnitudes of order. 
Yeah, Ammo Baron, you know, you moved up from when I first met you as like a crazy homeless man in the desert. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, you know, you proved to be as nasty as I thought you must have been back then, but didn't like... You know, at first I was like, yeah, you're, you're a pretty, you know, you're a nice guy. You don't try and kill us. You're not trying to attack people. You're not beating up your children. But I should have known, you know, I should have known that certain things... I, I mean, I knew that you were... Oh! Oh dear. I mean, I knew you were bad as soon as I, like, saw you, you know. Oh man. What, what did I just get an achievement for? I don't know, but it's a picture of Abner, so I'll take it. Actually, that was Poe, not Abner. It'll take forever to kill all these guys. Or knock them out, anyway. I have a feeling Sean. Like, Shantae doesn't quite strike me as the murdering type. That's just me, though. Okay, you know what we gotta do? No, I can go a little longer before I drink a potion. Just beat away, just beat his legs. Um, no, we, we don't need to transform. What we need to do is drink this. Good job, Shantae. Yeah, you know, Ammo Baron, I've noticed you've been snickering. Your voice is a little more sinister than I could imagine to be. I have to say, you wow, this really is a close-knit formation. It's as close-knit as textiles themselves. So I was right, though, this has all been about textiles. Actually, wait, we're not killing them, we're just ripping the clothes off of them. Off of them. It's like Kill a Kill, only with way more sweaty middle-aged men. In other words, way better. You see, here's the problem with your formation, is that is they're so tight, they stick to you so tightly, so tightly to their ranks that they don't fall back to protect you like they should when the inner ranks have been taken out. No oh, ammo, Baron. Whoa, what went wrong? You did, you're grounded. All that work, up in smoke. Serves you right, Ammo Baron. Hello, is this thing on? Ladies and gents, it looks like the Ammo Baron has trashed all of today's participants. All but this purple-haired newcomer, that is. Judges? We have a winner! Really? You'd think they'd declare this some kind of... I don't know... Well, it's not a miscarriage of justice or a mistrial because it's not a court case, but... You know, it's something like that. Right? Like, they, they would have another race because this one obvious. whatever. Uh if Shantae wants to be a champ, I'm okay with it. Okay, hello, voice again. Nice to see you. Or hear you, maybe I should say. What transformation that's unrelated to the level did we get this time? Mouse? That's a new one. Wow. Wow, are we tiny if we're a mouse. Wait a minute. She can still jump very high for her body size, but... Oh, these little patterns we saw weren't just nice geometric patterns. They were routes we could take. This opens up a world of possibility. Oh, that's Shantae, always striking poses, being all saucy. She's not as saucy as she used to be, though. She's learned to manage her temper better. First place, huh? Sounds exciting! Let's see what you've won! A lifetime supply of Mermaid Falls famous... Can Monster Chow. Ugh, no. Especially now that I know what's in it. I'll take it! Gotta enjoy life while we still can, right? How's your machine coming along, Uncle? It's almost done! 
I've got the power supply hooked up. The magnet is charged and I can already see the dark magic particles accumulating in the containment sphere. I guess that means it's time to look for a light shard. Think you're up to the task? We're soon to find out. I'll get Wrench ready to fly. Good luck, and be careful. Huh. You know, it's kind of odd. I would have thought that light and dark magic were really just positive and negative polarities anyway, but clearly they're not, though they're somehow related. Since, you know, uh, dynamos would function by moving the magnet around up and down, which generates electricity, since electricity and magnetism are different manifestations of the same phenomenon, electromagnetism. I forget exactly how these kinds of electricity generation, uh, you know, that kind of generation works, but it's a very widespread use. I mean, it's all electricity generation is basically about spinning turbines, which causes the magnets to uh, produce electricity, but anyway. Let me know if you come across that light shard. I love your confidence in us, Mimic. Also, Mimic, I've never really told you this, but I've, I really like the way your sleeves look. I've always been into the hands and the sleeves look. Like, really, I have. Maybe it's just because so many of my coats are too big for me, so my fingers poke out and you don't see my palms. When we were at Mermaid Falls, I saw a twinkly light. Could that have been a light shard? You know, I hear there are hidden rooms and passageways all over that desert tower. With that new elephant power, you could really wreck up the place. Keep it in mind, guys. Dancing's usually a great way to stay in shape, but your elephant dance makes you heavy enough to withstand even the most powerful winds. Oh. So this normally gets you thin, but... Buying a warp dance could help you get around more quickly. Well, I mean, I did, so worth it. There's a weird old wizard living in Mermaid Falls. Man, it's so funny how everybody happens to be talking about things that are directly related to what we're doing. The traveling doctor? He's at the bathhouse right now. Wait, what? There's a traveling doctor? Who? They're completely out of leeches. Oh, hello, and what's the reason for seeing me today? Are you allergic to any medications? Do you have a history of stomach problems? Happen to know the date of your last physical exam? Well, if you ever need a checkup, just come see me. Okay. Desert Tower hides a powerful magic, but no one I know could fit into such a small entryway. So keep that in mind. A strange man who studies ancestry passed through on his way to the Desert Tower. So many leads, huh? With a mighty stomp, you could pop thingies up from beneath the ground. Okay. Very eloquent. So, Scuttlebutt, I got another key. I'm just gonna see if I can... Can I use it on any door? Because if I can, I'm interested in the fan art. Yeah, you can use it on any door. Well, next time I'll open one of the concept art doors, but... Ah yes, that is fan art. Here they are as more proportionate humans. And it's drawn in a kind of... I'm not sure what you'd call that style. It's obviously not photorealistic, and nor is it trying to be. Nor... In fact, if it were, I think it'd be really dumb and ugly looking. These character designs just wouldn't work in photorealism, you know? Well, I mean, actually, I don't know. To me, this problem with this one is I feel like... Well, I guess not. I was gonna say they look a little too, like, thick, but no, I... Well, yeah, I think they're a little thinner than this. Okay, this is very deviant looking. This is clearly from uh, the Pirate's Curse, though. Now, the big problem with this one is Shantae's breasts are obviously too big. I like this one. Um... Out of context, you wouldn't be entirely sure what this is even from. Of course, that is unmistakably Shantae. It's rather odd, though, that she doesn't have any eyes, so she almost looks like a statue. But that's part of the intention, I guess. Okay. Now this almost looks like concept art. Like, this looks like the concept sketches of someone who is going to make a comic book about her. Good job, Lindsay Collins. And here she is in her PJs, eating grape 
jelly on toast while sitting on a giant piece of toast? I suppose grapes are favorite because her hair is purple. Probably why her hair is purple, because all those grapes she eats. Anyway, very cute, Andre. I suppose this is just a, um, you know, a bust of some kind of monster. Dance with me. Get it? And the letters are vaguely Arabic looking? Anyway, yeah, there she is, dancing. Oh, notice in the last one, she's wearing the vest she had in her last outing. Actually, wait a minute. I believe that in the first one, she's dressed as she was in the original Shantae. Then the next one, she's dressed as she was in Risky's Revenge. And the next one, she's dressed as she was in Pirate's Curse. She certainly is the last one's Pirate Curse, because she's wearing, uh, she also has uh, Risky's pistol and uh, bandana. I like this one. And there she is as Monkey eating a banana. Sundstrom. You don't see those umlauts too often. Well, you do, depending on where you are in the world. God, jeez. Personally, I would not want to be in this swimming pool because there are, like, zombies in it. And you know they've got to be making the water gross. Now, this strikes me as very true to the Shantae spirit because it's so sort of shiny and, like, the colors just pop. Whereas in comparison... What the? No. Whereas in comparison, something like this strikes me as, uh... I mean, it's bright and colorful, but I don't know, the characters seem... How do I put this? A little too fleshy. Like, does that make sense? I, I feel like they're a little too fleshy in that one. The characters are very smooth. Like, they could, of course, draw, you know, more details on the bellies of all these characters. Like, they could have... But, but they don't. They normally only draw the navel. Although, I don't know, I feel like she might be a tiny bit too thin there. It still is a very nice drawing. I mean, I think. And here she is, sitting around, playing her Game Boy Color, reliving her old adventure, immortalized on the Game Boy Color. She even caught some fireflies and put them in a little jar, just like I did when I was a kid. There she is, um... Yeah, I don't think this one's so good. I mean, I'm glad they're respecting the fans, but I'm not gonna sugarcoat my opinions. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much spot on. Vinegar and Twitch. From a set for the distance, I thought for a second that this might be a 3D model. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. Well, this, it just keeps going. Aw, oh, that's the sort of thing I would draw when I was a kid. I wouldn't have submitted it to this, though. Yeah, that's, um... I, I don't know. I feel like the quality of these is kind of all over the place. This was three people? Really? Sure. I don't know, this strikes me as a little more unified of a vision in terms of what it looks like. This is probably a scene from the first one that I don't quite remember. It's very possible. I don't remember the first one all that clearly anymore. I do like how freaked out Shantae looked. Now this, this is so true. This is very close to like the sort of, you know, look of, the, of uh, this stuff in formal media. Although it is interesting to see all these different interpretations of the characters. See, there's a squid baron back there. Just squidding it up. This one is not so much that. Who is this? I have no clue. There's Shantae again. Um, her breasts are on prominent display in this one, and as you can see, they've, like, drawn the sort of shape of, like, her abs. And I just... I just... I don't like that. To me, th these character designs work best when they're a little simpler. Or at least when that stuff isn't quite as, uh, highlighted. Yeah! I'm sorry, Trevor McD. I like your name, but I don't like this drawing. You have a quite an impressive art gallery here, Scuttlebutt. I'm surprised, I didn't think you were the art-admiring type. Yeah, keep crying, you big baby. I guess he did forget about Holly, didn't he? He's such an irresponsible loon, I'm not surprised. So, what's going on? Looking for a light shard? There's a strange hermit who lives in the desert tower. 
Perhaps he can be of some assistance. It's a good thing everybody knows about this stuff. You know, it's really not that so much that all of them happen to be talking about, you know, what Shantae's current problems are. It's more like they know that she's looking for help and everybody in town likes her, so they're helping her. Wrong place. Right place. It's kind of odd. At the same time that um, this is much more level-based, I do kind of feel like this is... Um, I suppose I might say... Yeah, I'll take this. Um, hey, right, silky cream. Oh, I see. It's for our hair. It's like conditioner. Yeah, I'll take it. It our hair whipping's already pretty fast, but a few seconds can save your life in the heat of combat. Oh, all the pots are gone. I can't smash more. That's fine. Shante does have a bad habit of destroying masonry, but, or not masonry, of destroying pottery, but I'm sure the townsfolk are willing to look past these sorts of things because they, you know, like her. Because she's so useful and friendly. Also adorable, that helps. Enthusiasm! Um. Wait, I forget, did we look around here with our mermaid ability? I don't think we did. There's nothing down here in this particular pool of water, though, is there? Maybe she was shooting from that, like, magic gem on her waist? I don't know what that Naga was doing, uh, doing okay? I, I really don't know. See, like, why was there a checkpoint there? I mean, I'm not the game designer, what would I understand, huh? Another one of these sunken souls. What are they? I feel like they're the sort of thing I would expect to have some connection to the Pirate Lord or Pirate King or whatever he was called. That guy's pretty dead. He's about as dead as they can get because he was already dead, and then we killed him again. That's pretty dead. Additionally, he was a pretty uninspired, typical, you know, stock Lord of Evil kind of character. Which is fine, you know, because the rest of the cast is colorful and weird enough that it balances it out. Now here we go. What we got here? Oh, another key for the gallery. I can look at more fan art that emphasizes Shantae's belly. Okay, now I just need to jump out of here. Easier said than done. I wonder what these sunken souls are for. I just get the impression that they're a good thing for us to collect. Yeah, you know what? We don't need to do this. We're gonna go for a swim on this side now, aren't we? We're gonna scour this area for all the sweetest loot. All the loot we get, it will be so sweet that you'll be like, man, that's so sweet, it's giving me cavities. You'll need to brush your teeth more often because of how sweet all of our loot is going to be. Yeah, we have already been over here, so never mind. We still haven't gotten... We still haven't gotten to the beginning of this, like, series of little tunnels that we'll be able to climb through. Anyway, uh, I think it's great that this sort of stuff can get funded on Kickstarter. Stuff that's, like, actually good. Since, of course, most of what's on Kickstarter, the vast majority of it is complete garbage. Like, stuff that's so terrible, it's laughable. But of course, that's almost the case with stuff on... Well, no, most of it isn't so bad it's laughable. It's just bad enough that it's kind of depressing. Some of it is so bad it's laughable. Okay. Surely we're all... No! We're still not at the beginning! No! Okay. That was close. I mean, there's been closer things in the world. I was, wish I could come up with some topical reference that, like, is an example of something that was close, but uh, n nothing's coming to mind, I'm sorry. I can't always be topical, because I'm usually not topical anyway. Where can I get into these, like, mouse things to begin with, okay? That's the question, that's the big mystery right now. These, wherever it is, I'm not seeing it. Is it up there? 
Because there's that magical light up there that looks a lot like the light that appeared in our dreams. It's been the voice that's been giving us our magic powers, you know? Actually, wait a minute. Does that little sparkly light mean it's a spot we can enter from? It might, actually. Let's find out. It is. Okay, so this is where I've been trying to get to all along. Well, first, let's go for the treasure chest over here on this side, shall we? Oh, we can't. Okay. Well, I mean, we can, but we have to go the long way. It's always that way in life now, isn't it? Like, no! And so Shantae drowned, and every everything in the world was for naught. Uh, I wonder who built these ruins here originally. There are a lot of these kind of Greco-Roman-looking ruins, ru ruins, ru ruins around uh, Sequin Land. I suppose that there are some element of the old world. But on the subject of the old world, the ancient um, Greeks, like, actually did develop. Uh... Hello? No, nothing's gonna come this way. Fine. Actually, did develop a steam engine, or rather, at least one guy did. No. The issue is that, like, what she. Once she begins going in one direction, she doesn't stop until she hits a wall. Now, normally this isn't such a problem, because, like, you know, the only walls there are to hit are rather... I don't want to say far away, but, like, they're not going to have you end up in a wall or something. This doesn't do us much good, does it? So why is this path even available to us? I guess it's just a red herring. The issue is, it's not exactly like a maze, but you can turn around though, so that's good. Anyway, this isn't exactly a maze because you can clearly see where you need to go. It's uh, a something. I don't, I don't think anyone would, argue, would dispute that it's a something, would you? I wouldn't. Okay. We'll just have to find the other one of these we found. This one, specifically. Weep. Blip, boop, blip. Let's see, this really, really puts you in the mind space of, of a mouse. Let's see, it really lets you em empathize with the kind of situations that mice have to deal with every day. Normally, you know, mice are very underappreciated animals in, in our culture. In fact, they're not only not appreciated, they're, like, actively reviled. But they say that the real reason most people are afraid of mice is not because they're afraid of the mice, it's because they're afraid of stepping on the mice. And so, really, if anything, it almost seems like our society actually harbors a secret sympathy for mice, doesn't it? Really, it's like we don't want the guts of a mammal on our shoe, and I understand that. I don't either. I don't like the guts of any animal on my shoe. Why, just the other day, there was a silverfish. I picked up a book I hadn't touched in, like, months, and there was a silverfish in it. And at first, I was rather horrified by this. Not because I'm particularly scared of si What the heck? I mean, not because I'm particularly scared of, of silverfish, but because, rather... Uh, how do I get up there? Uh, there we go. But because, rather, I am, uh, I'm under... Because so it was in a book, and silverfish eat paper. But I didn't eat the paper, as far as I could tell. But look, the point is, I didn't kill it. I let it outside, because I don't want the guts of anything on my shoe. Ah. Oh my gosh, a wizard, right? Well, don't worry. I'm a good wizard. Got any candy? I'm a sucker for candy. In fact, I'd raise a town to the ground just to get my hands on some sugary sweet. <laughs> Ignore that. Inside voice, <laughs> But I could use some candy. You're creepy. I like you. And now we'll never have a hard time getting up here ever again. Is that really the end of that maze, though? I was hoping I'd get some treasure or something. Oh, I should have known. Should have known. Was there some way to get up to this door here, though? Yeah, these are the little cousins of that giant memory worm. I wonder what was up, though, with Shantae's weird dream earlier about great danger coming to the world or something. If that were happening, you think she would see some sign of it by now. 
But it hasn't shown up yet, so... It, yeah, it's probably because it was a dream, you know? And dreams are, like, not prophetic. They're usually just pretty much random, surreal nonsense. We don't... Be, that we're not really able to make much sense of, because they're dreams. You know, you know, I'm just saying that, that attributing that kind of deep meaning to them is a very primitive sort of thing to do. And while obviously they live in a culture, you know, I mean, ob obviously Shantae's culture is, is pre-modern. Well, it's really postmodern in the literal historical sense, since it's after, you know, our current culture, probably. If, unless it's in a world that's altogether alien to ours, which is very, also rather possible. You know, I understand also that all my attempts to apply this kind of deeper implications to stuff that happens, like interpreting the fact that they have hard drives as a sign that they're, you know, aren't completely post, you know, like they're not completely pre-industrial. But, um, the thing about that is that, like, like I understand that's basically just being done as, like, a joke. Like, the fact that the guy has a bunch of hard drives is a joke. I, like, I get that, guys, okay? I mean, I just want to be clear here, because, you know, people aren't always sure about this sort of thing. We can't smash, do our elephant smash down attack. Probably because Shantae keeps losing her magic, you know? I mean, what's going to be her excuse in the next game? In the original one, it's that she, like, didn't know it yet. In the uh, second one, it was that she had, hadn't practiced for a while. What's her, what, like, what's her excuse gonna be in the, you know, the next Shantae game, huh? Like, here, it's that she's been out of practice because she lost all her magic powers. But in the future, I don't even, I'm not, I'm not totally sure that there can be. She, they just keep dropping monster eggs. It's really weird that Nagas and these birds have the same eggs, though. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So, what happened to Tasseltown was actually climate change. Desertification led to the land um, having all these increased dust storms. And of course, that was no good for them. I'm glad that those dust storms are not going on anymore. Although I suppose we're here at night, aren't we? Rather unlike last time, where we were certainly here during the day. Yeah, nothing else. Treasure! What we got? Ah, another returning one from the original Game Boy Color title. I'm glad. Well, uh, Spider. Yeah, Monster Girls are very popular these days. Silk is new. I don't remember her. Well, I mean, she did have Silk in the original one, but it was like, let her create webs that she could climb on rather than, I suppose we might say, uh, you know, nah, it, it was different. Like, it wasn't like she shoots Silk up at the ceiling. She created webs that acted as a kind of background grid on which Shantae was capable of walking as a spider. You know, in a lot of ways, the original Shantae is a sort of epitome of a lot of um, uh, classic video game tropes. Although it's definitely, I'd say, the sort of least funny of all of them. Probably because of the limited cartridge space, which was already taken up by their beautiful animation. Uh, didn't let them have, like, more... Like, it, it didn't let them include longer dialogue sequences like they've been able to have in the subsequent Shantae games. Although, actually, the original Shantae does have a... I wouldn't call it a compatibility problem, per se. But it's certainly an unusual... It's certainly... The original Shantae came out on the Game Boy Color, but if you played it on a Game Boy Advance, there were special additional areas you could unlock. Now, however... Wait, why is it pitch black in here? But now, however, like, could you even possibly get that on an emulator? So, like, that kind of stuff, I worry about the preservation of those sorts of details in video games. Wow. You a grave robber? Not me. Genealogy guy. Build your family tree and what what. I'm here looking for remains. Remains are all around us. You can tell where they're buried because flowers grow there. Person goes in dirt, person turns into plant food, got to unearth the remains. It's a dirty job, but it comes with the territory. Bring me five remains. They're in this tower. 
Just gotta figure out where. Also, take this. Thank you. Dude, that's to stump those flowers. Stuff might pop out. Okay, so now we know why the flowers are here for. But earlier on, I think just in the desert outside the tower, we already saw... Oh, we can't go back. Well, fine. We'll look around the tower then. If that's what we must do. Oh, God, the snakes are back too. I always hated the snakes because they always fall right on top of you. Oh, well, they're sure, they sure beat giant worms trying to eat you. By quite a wide margin, in fact. Wait, none of them are even shooting out fire anymore? What's up with that? Here you can't even know where they're going to drop out from. Talk about frastratin. Frustration. Castigation. Transform! Er, I'll transform here. Transform! Yeah, they, they, she definitely has a number of different ways she likes to say transform. You know, just mixes it up a bit sometimes. And of course, she just does it because it's fun, you know. You know. It's fun to call your attack sometimes. So it's odd. Wilbur is gone, but there's still some rather odd stuff going on here. Like, now there are all of these, well, laid traps everywhere? Like, whose idea was this? Who put these here? Oh, we're gonna see so much neat stuff in that art gallery. It'll be the grandest of grand. It'll be like the Rio Grand, only it'll be the Gallery Grand. Because it's not the Rio, it's the Gallery. I've always wanted to call it the Rio Grande, but I am given to understand that it is actually pronounced Rio Grande, at least in American English. So, I'll bow to the, I'll bow to the standards. That's what you do in modern conformist industrial society. Although society has always been conformist to some extent, otherwise it would not really be society now, would it? That's odd. Where, didn't that blade just, like, disappear? Weird. Come on, birds. Come on, birds. That's not cool, birds. I like birds, but these birds, they want to kill Shantae for some unclear reason. Now, see, that's the one where Shantae's, like, a little tired and is kind of joking around as she says transform. Oh, here we go. Really? Just flowers? No remains? Well, I guess there are more remains elsewhere. I've been wondering what the deal was with those flowers, though, and now I suppose I have some kind of idea. So is that guy the hermit that we've heard so much about? Because I get the feeling he's not. Although he's still an odd hermit, to be sure. I have a feeling that he's somebody else. And so the happy elephant bashes the trunk. Oh, we can't do it except for normal Shanta. Okay. We're getting one gallery key after the other. To see all these modern Picassos. Picasso. There was a Polish movie called like The Adventures of Picasso. I think that's what it's called. It is a strange movie. Now, I mean, it's, I don't really know in any area where you can like see it, but it's pretty strange. Also, those eggs look bigger than could possibly have fit inside the snake's bodies. Also, there are no longer reanimated skeletons around here. I guess that means Holly was involved with those two? She was reanimating the dead? They were, like, just animated by the vague memories of their lives. It strikes me as as vague and strange of a concept of mind is, um, wasn't near. Like with the Gestalts? Oh, geez, maybe there is some connection here. But no, I can't, I can't think about that. That's too horrible to imagine. It's too horrible to imagine that all of Shantae's world... I mean, it can't be, because nobody's being ravaged by plague. So yeah, never mind. What the heck was I talking about, anyway? Um, nothing. Yeah, you know, Shantae, these guys, they're not replicants. They're perfectly... Or well, Shantae's part genie. Not not all the way human, but you know what I mean. Point. So, so goofy, so quirky, or hopping around like that. Shantae, now you can eat centipedes. I suppose nobody's mentioned to Shantae that eating centipedes is not kosher. On the contrary, I believe that you're not allowed to eat any bugs. Yeah, you know, you're not allowed to eat... Well, it says, I think, in the, I think the Bible's actual wording is something like, you can't eat anything that isn't... 
Like, you can't eat anything from the sea unless it has scales and fins. So in other words, you can only eat fish. But... Which I think is kind of... That was a sneaky trap right there. So that means you can't eat squid, or shellfish, or seaweed. That's pretty hardcore. Okay. Well, here we go. Transform! Hold on, how do I... Did I already forget how to shoot out the... Use my spinnerets? Or is the ceiling too high up or something? Oh, it's like... Yeah, you press X again, I see. Yeah, it's too high up. Are we sure? Yeah, it is. I don't quite understand why monster girls are so popular nowadays. I guess it's just not something... I mean, I, is it, I mean, like, oh, oh, it's so foggy here now. I mean, it is dark out, so it's not surprising that it's, you know, would get foggy here occasionally. I'm just glad there were no sandstorms going on today. Hey. So, yeah, these ruins aren't really ruins at all. There's still people living in them. You know, these tribeswomen with the, with the bows and arrows? So, in real sense, I guess that they probably didn't build this place. Or maybe their ancestors did, but they still live here. And oh god. And they're still doing pretty well for themselves. I mean, they're content with this place, with living up here, even though it's dangerous and high up. I wouldn't li I would not like it here at all. I feel unsafe just looking, just looking at all these precarious platforms, but, you know, different strokes. I'm glad there are different cultures in the world that can embrace different things. I'm glad. However, I wish the women here would be a little less hostile to outsiders. But of course they're not. I do I really want to risk getting this? Yeah, I do. The issue is if I miss clinging onto the side of this rock, it's all over, you know? Or actually, here's what I could do. No. Here's what I could do. This one. Yeah, here we go. Does this go on indefinitely, or does she fall down after a while? You know, today, actually, I had a bunch of spider... Wait, hold on. Does she only have six legs? Yeah, what the heck? Anyway, yeah, but today, um... I was, uh... There... It's very odd. In my apartment, there are almost never any bugs, but this morning, like, in one hour, like, in... Like, within an hour, there were seven spiders in my apartment. And I caught a number of them on the ceiling, too. I don't know what they were. I've heard there are no jumping spiders in this area I'm in. These were certainly spiders that jumped, though. Though, I gotta say, I guess I wouldn't call them jumping spiders. I would call them, like, jumping spiders are a particular species. While they might, these might have been liter in the literal sense spiders that jumped, I do not think they were members of um, any species of what were normally called jumping spiders. Because they just don't, they look too different. Like, jumping spiders have a particular look about them that these ones lack. They were, I don't know what they were, they had like a, they were sort of a lightish, whitish, brownish, tannish, yellowish color. They're like striped with that and black. They were um, uh, very fast, they could climb up glass. Earlier I mentioned silverfish. Silverfish cannot climb up glass. Their legs just do not adhere to the um, smooth surface. Now, if that glass sits dusty, you better believe they can climb up it then. But otherwise, not so much. Now, this is another job for spi- for, for spider, Shantae! Let's take care of this. You know, I didn't want to do this. I, I would have liked to be friends with you instead of killing you. But you left me no choice but to send your bones flying. Really, there's... I mean, as soon in the, in the original Shantae, I was just floored when I saw just how gruesomely violent that it was. Yes, 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 yes! This is worth it. This is what I want. Forget about the gallery keys. Heart holders. Heart holders are where it's at. 
I remember that Knit Underground, there was a song that was for some reason called something like Everybody likes spectal bits, they not just not everybody knows it yet. Something like that. Well, I'd say about heart containers. Not everybody knows heart containers. Like, rather, everybody loves heart containers, but not everybody knows it yet. That's how I feel about that. Yeah, I guess at this point the tribes women are after Shantae, not just because of a cultural, not just because she's like they're territorial and she's in their territory, but because she's murdered so many women of the tribe at this point that, they, you know, it's, it's become unforgivable. Urusai! That means shut up, though, doesn't it? Damn! Well, Shantae's out now. Yeah, they do still keep the uh, bonfires burning. I suppose they're kind of like beacon fires, like the other tribeswomen who are traveling the desert can see these tall buildings and see that they're filled with... Um, you know, they have the fires in them, and that lets them know that, like, that there are people in them, that their fellow tribes, tribeswomen are here. And I say tribeswomen because we've never seen a single male member of these desert-dwelling archer women. I suspect that they're hostile to outsiders in part because of the ammo baron is like, has been threatening them for years, and so it's made them distrustful of the greater world because of all of his efforts to colonize them. All right, now that we can turn into a spider, though, we're gonna be able to get to the snake girl over here. It'll be grand. Yeah, Shantae is definitely trying to cater to the monster girl market. It's odd that we can't attack as a spider. I think spiders are pretty good at injecting venom myself. I will buy something, I will. Huh, I like the sound of that. Um, I'm not sure what we need fruit for, but sure. I'll take a dryad dance. Now, I'm going to take this just for a second. Wait, what? Oh, I can only do this if I have an obliterate dance. Okay. I don't want to risk doing this because I really like having the warp dance, and I'm not that pressed for gems. Hey, I'll see you around, Snakey. Snakey snake! In the words of a uh, teacher I once had. Oh, hey, you gonna drop that bomb? You're the bomb. Not really. You're a belligerent monster, and I'm going to kill you. I did not manage to kill it. I'll kill this one, though. It's rather higher up than that other one was, but that's fine. I can still kill it and make it into roast. Delicious, delicious roast. Roast bird, I guess? I just don't get it. Why don't the bombs hurt anybody else but Shantae? Are they magical bombs? Of course they are. You know that's what's going on here. Would you quit it? Oh, that was close. I almost didn't notice this here. It's a good thing that Archer did quit shooting at us, though, or else Shantae would be dead. It's also a good thing this one is, like, still, or else Shantae would be dead. Or if she would have fallen, I mean, she couldn't survive this fall, let's be real. But fortunately, it's a video game, so she can go through it over and over again. I still can't, I've still never quite fully gotten over just how brutally violent Shantae is. This is just, like, the end of the stage, though, isn't it? We haven't, we didn't find that hermit, though. I guess it, the hermit was the guy who wants us to find the uh, remains. Pretty macabre. Sounds like something Roddy Tops would be into. But she'd probably want to eat them or something. You know her. Eating rotting human flesh. Ah, those zombies. Really, zombies are disgusting. All they want women for are their brains. I still think that's a great joke. Yeah, we're doing great for health items. Um, well, I guess we're just gonna wander around now until we find some more of those flowers. Actually, I know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the, uh, to, uh, Tinseltown. Not Tinseltown, that's Hollywood, to Tasseltown. 
And in Tasseltown, we're going to smash that uh, block we couldn't smash before. And we're going to see if we can find some remains. Yup. Here we go. Here's not a flower, but a... You know, that block I was looking for. So, um... Let's check it out. They're not monkey. Crab! It sounds like she said crab form, but she said transform. Still not sure what sunken souls are or what they do. Now here... Fire underwater, really, guys? Okay. Hold on, though. I'm curious, is there a description of sunken souls? Evil spirits banished to the darkest depths. I don't know, Shantae, should you really be collecting those? In the Vorpal Blade, it couldn't be any more Vorpal. Well said, Shantae. I bet this will open a door in the art gallery. Good bet. You know, video games' tendencies to, like, capitalize um, certain text and put them in, like, bright colors, I think is interesting. I suppose it's supposed to make it easier if you, like, don't know how to read. But it also has the effect of, like, making it more accessible to people who speak other languages. Actually, hold on. Could I open this as a crab? I can. Oh, yeah. This is the best reward I could have gotten. Well, maybe it would be better if I got the ability to smash big rocks while underwater. But I'll take what I can get, because what I get is already fantastic. We can't sink through the... No, we can't. I'm not surprised. What the... For a second, I thought I couldn't. I thought something was blocking my jump. I was worried. I was like, "Well, how am I going to get back up?" The answer was nothing was blocking my jump. I was merely mistaken. There's that flower. Another bird. These birds are just relentless, man. Oh, we got. Well, that's not very many. There was only one flower. All that for one flower, really? Well, I'm curious if I'm even finding remains or if I'm just squishing flowers. Wait, where's the... Oh, there he is. Didn't mean to kill you. Okay. So there are hidden rooms behind those dragon heads, huh? I guess that Shantae probably can smash them in elephant form if the previous titles, uh, you know, are any indication. Wow, I see. I get it now. Not every flower has remains. Okay, so I see. We just need to search the tower and get all the remains. Sure. I never quite understood why people hated, like, platformers that just tell you, like, oh, go get so-and-so item. Like, I understand why you'd be bored of that if that, like, every video game did that. But obviously not every video game does that. Like, you know, I just don't... But, but, like, if your video game is built around that, and it's been built around that system well, I, I don't really see what the problem is. Because there isn't a problem, is the point I'm trying to make here. Yeah, you can just jet forward through midair. And there are no snakes in this room, either. Which makes my heart smile. It fills my heart with rainbows! I believe that's a quote from... I forget, how did that line go? It was in Skyward Sword that Girahim says something like, Why, that news just filled my heart with rainbows. That's a pretty creepy thing for him to say. Not that it's surprising, I mean, he's pretty creepy. Not that there's anything wrong with being creepy, as long as you aren't hurting people. But he was hurting people, so he was not okay. He wasn't just creepy, he was like a murderous psychopath who wanted to take over the world, you know? I mean, I'm sorry, but that's the kind of stuff just isn't okay. So can I... Now, we, ha we can only do it from a solid platform. Maybe I should not be surprised by that. And yet, I don't know, am I surprised? Not particularly. I remember, though, in the original, when I figured out you could destroy these stone heads, it was so satisfying because they were such just they were 
like such a deadly enemy, and I was you're able to just take him out. It's fantastic. Wrong one. Here we go. Oh, it's mouse time. Things are gonna get a little mousy. Wrong one. You know, I seem to remember that mouse, like, used to be some kind of slang word for, like, gay men or something. An offensive one, I might add. There's a Monty Python sketch all about it. I remember I saw a movie once called Sliding Doors. It was terrible. I would never recommend it to anybody. But, I mean, it, I guess its central conceit was kind of interesting. But they did not pull it off, suffice to say. Yeah, there are no, there are no remains in here. But, I mean, I could have seen that from back when I was not going through the mouse maze. A lot of snakes in here, though. Which, I guess, means potentially a lot of loot. But I don't, I'm not in it for the loot. You know, I kind of like how all these... Most of the animal... Well, actually, am I sure there are no remains in here? Yeah, there's no flower. Is there? Yeah, there's no flower. I was wondering if maybe there is some other way it could be hidden, but I don't think there is. I guess it just goes to show that not every hidden room will have remains. Shan the Shan you know, Shantae is, is a person has always been very willing to just go out and pick up human remains. Like, it's, I've always thought it's rather odd is how little it seems to bother her. Like, didn't she, like, gather human remains in the previous one, too? Transform. Oh, Shantae, you're one wacky girl. Now, I mean, I think, I wouldn't know, I've never spoken to a girl before. I'm pretty sure that, that she's wacky for a girl. That, that is how you say it, right? Yeah, you know, I wonder who built this tower. I mean, it was, of course, whatever people used to live in Tassel Town back when, well, you know, back when Holly was still a normal person. And wasn't dead. This will be a great thing for all the people who are not dead. I should have turned into a monkey, should have turned into a monkey, should have turned into a monkey. But I made it without being attacked by a snake, even though I didn't turn into a monkey. It just goes to show. Something. I believe there was not remains in this room, or I probably would have gotten them. Like, surely I would have noticed them, you know? But, uh, I'll check just in case. It's possible I missed something because I'm an unobservant lout. Yeah, well, there are re human remains right there in that pit, but... Shantae won't take them. Shantae, you're pretty good as a grave robber. You should consider taking that up if the half-genie hero thing doesn't work out. Well, I mean, really, if the town guardian thing doesn't work out. I do kind of wonder how half-genie hero is going to be significant to the plot of this one. I suspect it's not. It might just be a catchy title. In which case, in which respect, it's different from every previous Shantae title ever. Yeah, I can't destroy that one. Can I destroy that? No, I don't think I can destroy either of those e either. Yeah, there are definitely saw blades that, like, spontaneously appear on these chains. Rather distressing. So I noticed that in this one, the vases sparkle a little bit. Is that supposed to let us know there's something inside? Maybe? Really, an elephant should not have to press its weight down like that to land with a thud. If an elephant falls a meter, whatever is beneath it's going to get squished. End of story. But maybe it's because it's a magical Shantae event. So who knows what happens with those hero fans. So I wonder what we're going to get as a, you know, from all that. Oh, hold on. You get a lot of points for squishing enemies with blocks. Like, a lot of points. I was hoping I could just squish, like, a dozen snakes at once. I'm not going to be able to, because, like, um... As you can see, those snakes... There's a limited number of them that will spawn at any given point. Anyway. So there still must be a hidden room somewhere in this tower. I'm glad- I guess that guy is the hermit who we were su was suggested we look for in here. Come on, Shantae, grab the ring! There we go, Shantae. 
Imagine if she was having that hard of a time back when we were, you know, struggling to escape from Wilbur. Well, we'd be dead. That's what would have happened. If, I mean, if that were the case. And here we're going to get the last remains. Huzzah. Little liver. Those remains for me. Remains! Nice. And he sneezes. Oh. Sorry about that. Got you sick. Might want to get checked out by a doctor. I did all that to get sick? Ah. I'm feeling like a million bones after that sneeze. I swear. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, come on, let's go back to town. Get tricked. We do all that work for a guy and we get a cold because of it. You think the disease would come from all the rotting human remains, but no, it comes from that guy. Typical, isn't it? Smash right into it. Yeah, we don't get to save before town. Which makes sense, like, why would we? You know, it's town. Smash. Um, actually, I'm curious. What's your description of sick? Yeah. Someone got you sick. Because, as usual, in video games, we identify ourselves as the protagonist. Who? They're completely out of leeches. Oh? Hello, and what's the reason for seeing me today? Are you allergic to any medications? Do you have a history of stomach problems? Happen to know the date of your last physical exam? Well, if you ever need a checkup, just come see me. You don't look so good. Did you want to get that checked out? Yes. You gave sick. Oh, you're not feeling your usual self. How long has this been going on? Hmm. I think I've just a thing. Okay, you're going to feel a tiny poke. Like a viper digging its fangs deep into your throat. I'm kidding around. You're already cured, just like that. I bet you didn't even see or feel it. Yeah. That's for being a good patient. Come back and see me in six months for that physical exam. No snacks the night before. Not even water. You can find your way out by going through that door. Now we have candy. These puzzles are pretty bizarre, but I feel like that's the intention, is they're so wacky. And they kind of, they, like, they flow naturally. Because you know, of course, that you're not going to... Huh. Because you know, of course, that you're not going to, um... Like, you don't know why you need to do all these things, but you know that you have to complete these little errands, and they all end up sort of fitting together in a neat way. Which is, uh, it's almost like a, a well-designed adventure game in that respect. Okay, fine. I guess that hermit is only of so much use. These people are probably like, wow, look at Shante jumping over all of our heads. Okay, she didn't jump over the pot lady's head. I love this guy. You know, he looks, I like how he's like, sort of looks like he's panting. He's like, oh, uh, uh, let's go, Shante. You know, he's being like that. Come on, Sky, let's go. No subjective, let's go. I, like, I give the impression that the save guy's like this old man who's really working hard to try his best and help out. And that's really charming to me. Mermaid Falls? Let's go see the wizard. Yep. I like how our options are yes and nope. So I did not expect to get scrap metal by squishing a flower. And yet we got more. Like, what's this? What's it for? Any ideas, Shante? I mean, you're the one collecting it. Scrap metal. Military-grade scrap, handy for making repairs. And candy? Hard candy on a convenient stick. That's a good way of putting it, Shante. You're really concisely summing up what a lollipop is. The very platonic essence of what a lollipop is has been, has been summed up in this game. I mean, Shante is really often about the question of exactly what sort of meanings we assign to words. How oftentimes a thing and a con how a concept gets caught up in the word, to the extent that, that... I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess I'm trying to imitate, like, Marcuse or however you say his name. I have this issue, you know, where, like, I know the names of famous people, but I don't know how to pronounce them. 
I mean, he's German, so I guess it might be like Marcusa. But yeah, he basically spends a, a large chunk of his book, um, one-dimensional man, or not a large chunk of it, but one of the many points he makes is that sort of the language of modern industrial society is designed, or is in any case used in such a way that, uh, to some very real extent, it makes it more difficult to to think in ways that go against a set of established norms. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, newspeak for, from uh, Orwell in that respect. I don't really know how much I understand what he's saying, because I don't understand how associating a word with its concept or taking a word to mean its concept is anything other than the normal function of the word, but hey, you know, I, I don't claim to understand philosophy very well. On the contrary, I often am kind of contemptuous of it, because I guess I'm an, an ignorant Philistine. Wait a tick. I thought you didn't have any candy. But now you do? Have some. Wow. I mean, wow. Candy out of nowhere. You, my friend, are a real wizard. Here. For you. Yeah, it makes sense I got it from a wizard. That's a light shard made out of crystal. Wizards gotta have a crystal, right? Am I right? Answer me! Ah, just kidding. We're good. You enjoy that. The light shard I gave you? I licked it. Not rock candy. You. Well, Shante, go wash your hands. I feel like more so than in most Shantae games, having enough money has not been an issue. And we're also getting so many of these monster eggs. It's kind of horrific though, you know, killing Nagas and like... Whatever, I I've already been over this, let's go. Could we go down that slide section again, do you think? There would no longer be cans of, like, girls rolling down with us though. Wait, what are we doing? We can't get back this way, we're not gonna walk back to town, it's far away. So, um, we can't even fly back to town by turning into a harpy or something. In the original Shantae, turning into a harpy and then flying over all the world map, that was a great feeling, and it's one we're not going to have in this one. But really, it's odd she turns into a harpy, because, like, harpies are not good things. Alright, back to the art gallery. This time, okay, we're gonna open the concept art door. No, it's all a mystery until we look at it. Wait, what? Why don't I get to see it? I unlocked the door! Well, whatever. So here's some concept art of Risky. Yeah, she... That sets Risky boots. You know, her trousers almost look like bell bottoms, except they actually get very tight at the bottom, rather than are open at the bottom. I suppose you could say the same thing about Shantae's weird trousers. Although, in this one, they're a lot less see-through than I remember them being in the past. Also, it only kind of just occurred to me, but, uh... They're really, really low-cut, aren't they? I mean... Oh, that's gonna happen later on. Looks pretty hardcore. Well, that's gonna happen later on. Looks pretty pretty. Well, that's going on right now, because that's Shantae. I suppose... Yeah, she doesn't quite look like that in the final product, does she? She looks a bit more like this. It's a little less... chibi. See? In this one, her head is pretty much the same size as her uh, torso. Whereas in this one, her torso... Like, her head is a little smaller relative to her torso. And her legs might be longer. Or maybe not. Oh, and here are those other guys, you know. You know, these guys, whoever they are, who cares? I mean, where's Sky? There's a zombie one. There's Mimic. And there's some guy with a mace. I wonder, I don't know who he is. Probably some loser. Well, that's uh, one. Let's, uh, well, actually, no. I want to see some more fan art. I'll use the next key, though, to open a um, concept art door. Wrong one. Here we go. Well, it's fine, you know. It's fine if some of those fireballs hit the mayor, he can handle it. I really don't have a frame of reference to compare this to, so I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> what 
What do you, what even is this? What's it's a scuttle bat? And I guess he's carrying a buck tooth fish. For a second, I thought it was one of those cactus enemies. I'm not exactly sure why why Risky has those big thick lips. And once again, we have the classic problem that seems to be perennial to all of these. Their breasts are too big. Even making a basic drawing can take rather long. And anyway, yeah, here's Shantae in a bunch of her forms. Wait, does this mean that we're go she's gonna be like an ice person later? Oh wait, no, that's her as a harpy. I see. Okay. Ow. Oh. Now you see how I talk about how they make their bodies too fleshy? Oh, it's one of those fountains with one of the uh, dance spirits from uh, Risky's Revenge. I think this one's pretty well done. There's Risky looking oddly abashed in her slave girl outfit. Um, I'm not sure I understand this one. Uh, is it a reference to something? Anyway, I mean, nice work, Ho Tsing Shang, but whatever. What do we have here? One that is a not-so-good one. Now, this is more the kind of thing I'd expect to see in an actual art gallery. What is it depicting, exactly? I'm trying to figure this out. Is that... Yeah, I have no idea what this is a drawing of. It really looks nice, though. I just don't understand the connection to Shantae. To me, it looks like some distant trees and maybe a castle, and there's someone on the, uh... On the left there, standing on a ledge overlooking it. Maybe that's a large bird on the right. Another one of those busts. Except it's a full body statue, just a short person. Now you see, that's what I call chibi artwork. Man, you know, she'd probably be a lot more effective if she actually used that pistol sometimes. Because, you know, Shantae might be magic, but one bullet's usually all it takes to kill somebody. Here, I'm not quite sure what's going on with all the blue. Like, it looks like Shantae has blue paint splashed on her. But maybe it's intended to be some kind of glowing. But what I really don't understand is why Risky is kind of squashed. Like, the other ones do not look squashed. They look like they're drawn by somebody else, but Risky looks like the formal artwork. Like the official artwork, except she's squashed. Most mysterious. Okay, I like this one. This one's pretty good. It's, uh, is it colored in, in pencil? Dang! I think it is! Coloring stuff in with colored pencil is, is a time-consuming process. And look, they even got that, the lighting on her golden bracelets. Nice, uh, n nicely done, Jason. Wait. Jason Ariola. Um. Okay. Huh. Does Shantae ever wear worn a veil like that? I'm not sure. But you see here her trousers are see-through like they are in some of the other artwork. 10 out of 10. I'd like to call this one Jet Set Shantae, but that's just me. You know, actually, I remember there's some YouTuber, YouTube guy I saw once whose, uh, whose icon was this really nice looking drawing of Shantae listening to music on headphones. Now if that were in here somewhere, I'd give that one a solid thumbs up. Or maybe it wouldn't look as good if it were blown up. I I'm not quite sure. Now see, this one's okay to me. But, well I mean, I don't know, actually looking at her tank top, the right shoulder appears to be sort of... It doesn't look like it's attached. Like, it looks like the strap's broken? I don't know, maybe it's just because I like the shape of her head in that one. See, more Shantae with the translucent... I'm not even sure what you'd call those she wears. So, is she about to go for a swim, or is she jumping across the gap? Well, I guess it doesn't matter since she's having a great time, but once again, look at all the detail on her belly! Oh, well, that's the evil Shantae. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what this one is. Like, she looks kind of like Shantae. Is it the evil Shantae, but with bat wings and in some kind of, like, fetish outfit? It's from Megami Tensei. Um... A lot of this is better than anything I have the training to do. But then again, it's drawn... This one isn't, but... Then again, it tends to be drawn in a, um... Very different style from anything I have ever, uh, you know, tried to draw in. 
See? Ret to go. And you see, this one's really kind of paradoxical, because there are three Shantae's in one picture. What's even going on here? Well, I suppose they got this photograph by having an elephant and a monkey just dress up like Shantae. I like how Shantae's like really sort of squat in this one. It's kind of, I don't know, neat. I don't like how she only has three fingers, though. I know that has a lot of precedence in cartoon drawings, but eh, it's just never something I've been a big fan of. As far as I'm concerned, if you're gonna draw humans, give them the correct number of fingers. It's strange, I'm willing to accept things like not giving them visible noses, but if you don't include all the fingers, I just don't like that. Well, this is a place we haven't been to yet. Can we, like, zoom in any? I, I guess not. I guess this isn't Namco Museum. So let's see, um... Well, B is Tasseltown. I'm not sure what A or C are. Well, I mean, A is the ocean. D is Cape... What was it called? Cape Crustacean? E is Scuttletown, it looks like. F, just some islands? I'm not sure what G is, but that thing on the uh, on the right in it looks kind of like a giant apple core. And then there's some more islands. I feel like I need to praise this less because the video game sort of speaks for itself in terms of how good it looks. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna go some pretty exotic places later on. That one with the scraggly trees almost looks like something you could see in Samurai Jack. Or really the first one does too, the first one in the upper, uh, upper left there. I was kind of hoping we might see some concept art for the earlier Shantae titles. I'd be interested in that too, you know? Anyway, so there's Shantae's house. Which, it occurs to me, is not a place we've gone back to since the opening. How strange. And there's a little old scuttle town. What's that say? New... New... Nab... Ground... Level... Whatever. There's, uh, Scuttletown again. Oh, this has, uh, been colored in and gussied up a bit and used as the background in the Steam cards. This music reminds me of Pac-Man World, the original one. And there's a factory, and, um... More factory. Is this con- yeah, this appears to be concept art of the, um, uh, Counterfeit Mermaid Factory. Which, I'd like to reiterate, was a slaughterhouse for humans. That's Shin Megami- Shin Megami Tensei levels of bleak. I just get- I just keep doing that, don't I? Here we go. And I got a favorite. I mean, a favorite. What? I got a- one of the- I got an achievement. Yep. What does this have to do with Shantae? Anyway, let's see what the next one is. Yep, those are Sky and Bolo and Rye Tops and Risky Boots and um, some Tinker Bats and the main protagonist again. Well, that's odd. They think Roddy Tops is more important than Sky. I mean, I, I guess I can understand why. I mean, like, as I like I said before, she's a monster girl, and those are all the rage these days. Now, I don't know why, but I really like this one. Oh, an actual 3D model one. This is not a thing I have any clue how to make at all, 3D models. I don't really have any frame of reference for what this art style is like, so I'll just, pa I'll just keep going. It's symmetrical anyway, that's good. See, and once again, another one that looks almost like um, uh, concept art for a comic book. So, nice work, Lindsay. Lindsay Collins. Although, I don't know, is this... Wait, did Lindsay Collins draw the other one that was like this? I don't know. And, uh, once again, who is this? Who, who is this? I don't know, it feels very deviant Um, I have the same question about this one as the previous one. Okay, I know who this one is. A th you see, Bolo has a dojo, which isn't something they've touched on at all, really, since the original Shantae, but here is, presumably, Shantae and Bolo in the dojo. Thing is, though, you don't do martial arts wearing shoes like that. You do it barefoot. Come on, Shantae. Oh, yeah. 
Now this one I could imagine putting up on your wall as a poster. This is awesome. It's very, uh, it looks like one of those Andy Warhol pieces of mass-produced garbage. Is that controversial? Anyway, good job, Harvey. Um... Now you see, this one... This one got, got right. Her breasts are not too big. And you might say, well, what about, what about Risky Boots? Well, she, her breasts are pretty big. I don't know what's going on with her lips, though. Uh, but yeah, I like the poses in this one. It's a nice touch, Roddy Top's thrown her head. I forget if she's done that before. I'm pretty sure she's torn her leg off before. I don't know about her head, though. And here's a, a really quite nice looking one, actually. A, Shantae is a schoolgirl. She would be in another time, in another era. Oh, pixel art! Nice! I like pixel art. She's a little short here, but once again, to me that's not that's not like a problem, it's like an art style difference. In the same way that, say, the fact that they're a little shorter in this one, or a little more chibi, is not a problem, it's an art style difference. Though maybe the lips have, are attributable to that too, uh, Risky's lips. Um, yeah, and yet another one of them. Oh, they put in wrench this time, so that makes it stand out. Um... I'm not sure what that monster is. And, and I want to be clear here, with all my, perhaps, negative comments, I don't want to make it come across as I'm mean to say that this stuff should, like... ah. Oh, age 24, never mind. See, there she is, is a harpy. That's kind of odd. It looks sort of like she's wearing some kind of top, but I think that's just a I think that's just a pattern of her feathers. And see, here she is as a mermaid. I I never really wondered about whether she'd have sharp teeth as a fish person. Guess she might. Now this one is very bright and colorful. Um, yeah, I like the art style of this one. It's very sort of. Well, of course, all of Shantae is cartoony, but this is much more, like, American cartoony instead of Japanese cartoony. I, I like the way that Shantae's face is drawn, though. It looks sort of like something from... I don't know. I don't know what to compare it to. Maybe something out of Steven Universe? I, I do... I really like the way this one looks. It's a good... It's a good conclusion for the gallery, I think. Um, there's Roddy Tops. I guess she's over... She's probably not a, over for a sleepover. She's probably just broken into her house without Shantae's permission. And so, like, Shantae comes in, and she's like, Roddy, Roddy, what are you doing here? Well, anyway, so that was, that was the art gallery. I probably still have more keys. I'll open some more stuff later on, you know. You know how it is. Um, how many, how many... I have plenty of healing potions. We're fine. Okay, hey. You. Hey, guys. Yeah, I don't need to hear about this. I'm already well aware. And I, though I do appreciate your guys' kind you No, know, now I have to make sure Roddy Tops is facing the right direction. We can't have her facing the wrong direction. There we go. You found a light shard! That's for me, right? No. You're kidding, right? Of course. Of course I am. Of course it's for you. It attaches right next to the Dark Shard. Right up... Here! Wonderful! There's only one piece left, Uncle. Yep. We're almost at the end. Oh gosh, speaking of which, I need to split. After all, gotta enjoy life while we still can. Roddy, why do you keep saying that? Huh? Oh, haven't you heard? About... The end of the world. The Hypno Baron is summoning a creature of unspeakable horror. I want to squeeze in as much fun as possible before the beast begins its world ending rampage. Say what? Actually, I could use a lift. I'm going to ask Featherhead for a ride to the Hypno Baron's castle. Maybe I can get a front row seat. Here's a map if you want to come. See ya. There's no way I can stand by and let the Hypno Baron summon some giant beast! Just one more time, Uncle, then I promise to help you finish your machine. Uh, so many distractions today! Just promise you'll be careful! I will, Uncle. You know that's only kind of true. 
if the world ends, I'm taking tomorrow off. I don't blame you, Bolo. Well, um, so the world's gonna end, huh? Gonna summon, like, some Shagoth or something? It well, I don't need to hear about this, so their dialogue is not updated? Yeah, their dialogue is not updated. Okay. Well, I don't know. We have a lot of money. Let's go buy some stronger attacks or something. And by stronger attacks, I mean better conditioner! It's important that you have good conditioner, you know. It makes your hair so smilky smooth. Oh, wait, this is... No, the conditioner or the cream increases whipping speed. So... Well, here's what we'll do, then. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? Here's the plan. Here's what we'll do. Here's the thing we're gonna do. We're gonna buy Mega Shampoo. Now our hair is at maximum strength. Just not maximum speed. Um... Yeah, we're, we're maxed out on the potions. Well? Okay. Let's go save the world, I guess. I like how it's just sort of incidental. The entire story to this has been... Not a typical Shantae, Shantae story, but more like a series of, of events where they happen to... It's like a, a bunch of distractions that happen to come up while Shantae was in the middle of trying to build a dynamo with Mimic. Sky, let me guess. You want to ride to the Hypno Baron's castle? How'd you know? That fair weather friend of yours has tried to bum a ride. Oh. She'll lead you straight into trouble. But I have to stop the Hypno Baron. Typical. Don't say I didn't warn you. Are you ready to lift off? Okay, climb aboard. Climb aboard, Shantae. You know, it's been a while since we've seen this guy. Well, maybe this is the great evil that Shantae was warned about in her dream. Yeah, maybe. Well, uh... Let's go, I guess? What happened to Wrench only being able to stay big for a few seconds, huh? Well, I guess Sky was just joking around when she said that. Hey, just take a look at all these achievements I've gotten. And they all have that nice, beautiful, bright-colored, cute artwork. And that's why, that's the one I got that had that picture of Poe on it. But looking at some of these I didn't get, it looks like I could have gotten one by, for example, taking out every single other uh, competitor on the flying carpet. I kind of missed my chance for that one. Yeah, here they are. We got Holly who doesn't even know how she got to be so amazing. We got Holly again. That's no fun, I'll turn that into gems. I've never in my life used gems, nor do I understand what they're for, or why you get these cards, or what these cards are for, but here they are. 